Conservative new media viewers, we will bring you the story of the arrest of the collar bomb hoax suspect in just one moment. But first, we would like to take the chance to introduce you to our sponsor. This video and all conservative new media YouTube videos for the month of August 2011 are sponsored by Aero Golf. Aero Golf is paying John D. Villarreal, my brother and the owner of conservative new media, for this sponsorship and promotional consideration. Aero Golf is also paying John D. Villarreal for videos we create about Aero Golf and their products. However, all such sponsored videos are owned by John D. Villarreal. Additionally, Conservative New Media possesses complete editorial control of all of the sponsored videos. Aero Golf gave John D. Villarreal a free Aero Caddy. Cedar Joiner of Aero Golf is my cousin. All opinions are solely my own and are my own honest opinions. Let me tell you this, CNM viewers. If you or someone you know is a golfer or just a fan of outdoor sports, I think you should check out our videos with Aero Golf. I think the videos are pretty cool and compelling. Now, I'm not the world's biggest golfer, but in my opinion, and after having checked out the AeroGolf.net website and having watched AeroGolf's The Aero Caddy YouTube video, I have to say that I feel AeroGolf's product looks pretty good. And at just $20, the Aero Caddy could be just the kind of inexpensive find you've been seeking for yourself or for the sports fan in your life. I want to reiterate that all of this presentation is personal opinion only, not alleging any facts, not casting any aspersions, all for entertainment and parody purposes only. Check all of the disclaimers, including the one found in the video description below the video player. CNN viewers, we have an update on the case of the collar bomb hoax that took place earlier this month near Sydney, Australia. According to several reports, at least one of which we will link to in the video description below the video player, a 50 or 51 year old man has been arrested in or near Louisville, Kentucky, USA, in connection with the incident. As we make this video, the identity of the man has not yet been made public. Once we find out his name, however, we will put that information in the video description with a link. The name of the young woman who had the fake collar bomb placed around her neck is Madeline Pulver. The MSNBC article that we link to includes a photo of Miss Pulver. Pulver is the daughter of a man named Bill Pulver. Bill Pulver is the CEO of an apparently successful company known as Appen Butler Hill. According to the MSNBC report, Australian authorities have said that the man in custody is an Australian national. Additionally, the MSNBC piece says that Australian authorities are still looking into the possibility that the incident, which took place at the Pulver home, may have been an attempt to extort money presumably from Bill Pulver. We will also include at least one link in the video description to an account of the original incident as it was reported at the time. Reporting for Conservative New Media, this is Paul F. Villarreal.